of military Olympics attracting elite soldiers. 500 ground troops from 10 countries are attending this opening ceremony. It's a chance to build a rapport amongst other armies from different countries, and it allows us to take a closer look at each other's equipment and capabilities of the military personnel. The Chinese army has sent a team of 84 soldiers to compete in all four events. The same number as that of Iran and Russia. This military event was first launched in Russia in 2013. It covers a whole range of combat skills of the ground troops, the Navy and Air Force. Since then, the Chinese army has attended the games for three times. But this is the first time for the army to get involved as one of the organizers. And here in Xinjiang, there will be an increased obstacles for participants from 10 countries to overcome. China's commanding officer says the obstacles simulate real combat situations and are within the requirements set by the organizing committee in Russia. The conditions are more challenging than the past competitions, as this is in the middle of the desert. It therefore has higher requirements for the military equipment. Despite the challenges, expectations are high among the participating countries. We came here and we did adaptivity training and we were being trained by the PLA instructors. I hope to achieve a better result at the end of the games. The opening ceremony also involves cultural elements from both China and abroad. It handles a fierce competition ahead for all in the coming two weeks. Meng Xingsheng, CDTN, Xinjiang.